What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nita, your favorite diva, and I'm back for another House of the Dragon. This is season one, episode three, second of his name. So I'm here with my girls. We got Tiffany representing for the spot, Real Talk. Yes. And? And this is Moochie Moochilla's Reviews. Hit the hammer because you came through. And. 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 <laughs> It's cute. <laughs> well, you know, you. I, love, I love talking House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones with my girls. Couldn't get Miss K this time. Maybe she'll come one other time. So we'll see about that. So we always want our Miss K here because she's the book reader and she is our expert. So anyway, shout out to you, Miss K. All right. So let's get into this. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of have like the what it's about. It's um, Damon and the sneak, Sea Snake battle the crab feeder. The realm celebrates Aegon's second birthday or name day. So that's basically what the episode was about. There's a lot of things that was going on, a lot of politicking that was going on as well. And we'll get into that, but we really are going to focus on those big moments because they were lit. Okay. So, anyway. <laughs> so I just want to get your overall opinion on the... You know, wherever you want to go, something sure your overall maybe a grade or a one to ten, and how you felt about it. So let's uh, start with you, Mooji. This episode, I liked it. I liked it a whole lot because I watched it with other people, and certain parts they thought Venera was on that dragon. Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. I no, it ain't him. It's, it's a two. Anyway, he went. I was like, oh, this that it was good. It right. was good. Yeah, right. He yeah. had you excited for certain parts. I like the fact that Rhaenyra wants to be engaged and wants to know everything about the politics of how everything runs, even though she knows that her chances are getting very slim with being the being in charge, being the head of the throne, being a queen. Right. So it was a good episode overall. I give it. I want to give it an 8.5. I'm trying not to go to a 9 because I feel like this is just the third episode. We're just peeling back the third layer. I feel like by the time we get to 6, that's when we're going to start seeing 10s and 9s and 10s. Okay, okay. All right, Tiffany. And, and I'm just opposite. I feel like last time I was under y'all with the rating, and I feel like this one was a 9. <laughs> it was really um, it was really exciting. I, um, I like the the battle scenes. I know um, Nina and I were talking offline and we were talking about how the battle scene with Damon and all of them reminded us of Battle of the Bastards and Game of Thrones. I also liked um, Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra unleashed the way she unleashed on that boar. I was like, I saw Daenerys in her. I was like, yeah, you can tell they from the same bloodline and you can see the beginning. Well, the tension between um, Rhaenyra and Allison. You know, I was like, uh-oh, you know. So I, I just thought this was a really good um, episode. And I always, like, enjoy seeing the, the dragons. Of course. Okay. Yeah, I love seeing the dragons. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. And I give it a nine. Yeah, I'm going to give it a nine, too. Mm -hmm. I really am, because I really enjoyed it. Um, I like the the contrast that they did with um, with Rainier, actually, what she did to the boar versus what the father the king actually did to, to his hunt uh, the way he handled that deer like they holding the deer for you like he was struggling he was struggling i was like i'm in you, you know what i thought here, sir. you know what i thought you know i was like they already okay. think he's weak they and and i was like and his showing with that i was like oh they probably it's probably a whole lot of chatter behind yeah. the scenes it, is, it has to be a lot of chatter because you know why your daughter came back with a boy on her own and they had to hold this elk down for you to kill it. Yes, not she even on her she didn't kill it with the first you had the blood and everything on there. She came home like a G. Exactly. And and you know what? She could have got the white one, but she left it. She yep. sure did. Could she could have got the white one, but she missed it. Because he was like, you know, like, that's the one they hunting. Like, he gave her that and said to him, that's the one they hunting. Like, if you really want to come back. And when she, even though she came back like that, they still was looking at her like, whoa. Right. And right. he had some, he's real superstitious. So he was um, looking for a sign that if it was a white, what is it, a stag? What do you call, yes. um, call them? Um, 
then I think I'm calling it a white heart. White but heart. Say, yeah. Uh, the confirmation of his decision with Renera and whether she stays on the throne or not. And um, yeah, and so he the when he saw the brown one, I think it was confirmation that he made the right decision. But the thing is, he struggled, and I think he also struggled because he's physically ailing, and you can tell. You can tell, you can tell that he's physically ailing. Um, she, Nita and I talked about the fact that you know he was wearing those gloves, and he was wearing the gloves because he didn't lost some some fingers. Yeah, um, you know the fingers that he put in, you know, with the maggots last week um, or or whatever. He, he got two fingers missing. Yeah, so he he's he's, he's deteriorating. He's right deteriorating. Right. Exactly. I was telling Nita. I was like, that's why he keeps drinking all that wine. He drinking the wine to. Uh, he's in pain. Uh, Pain. Oh, there you go. I think the numb the pain. Numb the pain. Yeah. So I, I I I noticed that last night, and then maybe that's why he it took him so much energy to kill the elk because oh, okay. every week now that is possible. So I was when I was watching it last night um with my family, they, they was like he looked like he could hardly like he like. I yeah. mean, he hardly make it. I said I don't struggle in the whole season. He no. was he, he ain't gonna make it. I, I think you want point with this Nita. You predicted it. I think he gonna pass away the same episode that Ned Stark passed away. Right, but you know what? I actually that could be true, but I actually see it happening quicker. I mm -hmm. actually maybe episode five. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Well, even if it's episode five, okay. If it's episode five, that means Renera's going to be in charge until that little boy turned fourteen, right? Because remember, right. that was a big thing they was making a big deal about. Yeah, yeah. But they trying to hurry up and marry um Renera off, and that was some of the big conflict. If, and that's all. Who I said that's stirring the pot last week? Otto. Um, Otto. That's yeah. Otto. Otto's manipulating his daughter to make all of these moves. Mm -hmm. She he went had that conversation with her to pressure the father to make her get married. Yes, yeah. And then as we saw the introduction of the Lannisters, because that arrogant Lannister was that's how she found out that her dad was trying to marry her off. Yeah, because, yeah. and he was arrogant. Didn't he remind you of Jamie? Ja yeah, I was like, well, he oh, was, I was like, like Lannister. Yeah, he's a Lannister. The way he was talking, and my my brother in law said the same thing. He reminds you of Jamie. I was like, yes, yeah. Definitely. It's, except he's not as handsome, though. No, he's not as handsome as James. No, Jamie of course was, not. He and was then, bae, especially in the earlier seasons. He was like, wasn't it a? Was it? Isn't one of them a twin? Yes, they yeah. do have she twins like, there. So I was like, twins was like, running like, the twin. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> she's like, you're the twin, right? And, she, and that's yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And his name was Jason, and I think what he was doing, I think he was trying to shoot a shot, and then when uh, Rainier just kind of blew him off. He went directly to the king, but he didn't really. I mean, that we'll get there. I'm about to say that conversation. It was pretty. I liked it. I, I thought it was pretty good because, you know, I don't know. It was something about the way Viserys was was handling the conversation. And mm -hmm. anyway. no, I think that he's a, um, a good king, and he's trying to be just. I do think he's a good king. I I think that he is viewed by the realm as weak, though. Right. I, I well, in my opinion, my pushback on that, I feel like he's a good man overall. I do. I think so. A good man doesn't make a good ruler. So I think that's, that's kind of where we where we are with that. Because you know, it seems like the stuff that he is, um, the stuff that's plaguing him and worrying him to the, to a leader to a to the next leader, they don't care. Like remember Robert, he didn't care. Like mm -hmm. he, he didn't have all that worry and all of that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But that stuff really gets to his core. Yeah. Really, like, so on top of decaying because of the throne or whatever, he also is stressing himself out. Worry, stress, all that stuff will start to, you know, play on your health. And, it does. Yeah. So I, I really feel sorry for him. I really yeah. feel sorry for him. Yeah, and you're right. And to pick back on that, you know, with the worrying, he's worrying about his daughter because Renera was barely talking to him because she was pissed if I can say that you know because of the him taking Allison as a wife and and everything and and her position on on the throne and I feel like and I don't know maybe I read this wrong but even that that situation with the the, the white heart with the um the stag it, it looked like it was difficult for him to even 
look at it. Like he's a humane person, and I, and the way he saw them holding it down and stuff, he's not. It built was for like, that. yeah, he's not built for that. It did not look like he really wanted to hurt it. Right. And he did it because he had the pressure, and then because he was the king, and he couldn't look back. And they already think he's weak, but I don't think he even really wanted to kill it for real. Right. Right. I don't think he was strong enough to kill it. Like that, I think it was both. I think he was struggling, but I also think I also think that he, you know, I think he's a humane person. He's, exactly. he's a humane, kind-hearted person, and basically, I feel like Otto and his inner circle feel that kindness is a weakness. Weakness. Yeah, and exactly. they, they, they take in his kindness for a weakness, and technically, it is. Yeah, it is. It is, especially in a in a um, position like that. Mm -hmm. so. You gotta make tough decisions yeah. in that type of position. Yeah. But the, the episode started out with you know this whole war at the stepstones, um, the crab feeder, and all of this stuff. They are getting. I thought that they was gonna go in there and wreck shop because they had dragons, right? But lo and behold, they found some way to retreat into the caves. To mm -hmm. hide the them. dragons, mm -hmm. so th that is um, putting a burden on their forces, and you know they were kind of in a dire where they was reaching out for help to, to the crown. So um, I was like, "Ooh, that didn't go the way I thought it was." And you remember, Moochie, we were saying last week that why don't you just do it with the dragons? You got the dragons or whatever, but mm -hmm. they got this little loophole where they can hide from the dragons and stuff like that. And so we was like, and it, it, it's weakening. It's weakening the sea. Um, what's it called? It's, it's, yeah, the sea snake. It's his, weakening the sea snake army. Right. And I feel like the more they do that, the more people he's gonna lose. Remember, I mentioned this last week. Yes, yes. And he's gonna have to fall in line with whatever Damon says. Before they have kind of like a a, a mm -hmm. thing where he was working everything out with him, where they right. was basically I won't say on the same level, but he had yeah, more of a mutual like respect. A partnership. Like yeah, exactly. Party. That's yeah. the word I'm looking for. Yeah. But you know what part? <laughs> you know what part was funny to me? And this was in the beginning when the guy was like, Oh my king, you came to save me. And the guy was like this. And <laughs> <laughs> the dragon <laughs> stopped him out. I was like, oh no. Shoot. Somebody <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not really about you. <laughs> it's not really about you guys. <laughs> he, he got him like, up out of there. Save me, my 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 prince. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, and his his dragon is, is it Cyrax? Is that his name? His is Cyrax. Correct. Cyrax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cyrax did not care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a Jurassic Park thing. The way that foot came down. Yeah, it did. It sure was. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> <she's true." laughs> What about your prince now, huh? Right. Oh, was like, my prince, he's come to save me. And then you heard the, the, the oh. <laughs> the prince is out for I did re and I did rewind it. <laughs> okay, so next we move on to the second name day celebration for Prince Aegon. So Otto was talking to his brother. Now listen, we thought Otto was something. Mm -hmm. His brother, he was like, uh, it's time for you to convince him to get the work and, and name Aegon the heir or whatever. So I was like, okay, okay. So I was like, you see where he get it from. It, it, yeah. It, 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. he, he gets it. He, just, um, he is bad as little finger, so you 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 won with that one, right? You said he was like the little finger of this, um, yeah. Series. yeah. He looking out for his household. Now we gotta see who's who's the other whisper that's doing that's stirring the pot and right. creating all the drama. I'm mm -hmm. sure it's plenty of them, so we'll see. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll see. Now, the daughter is not too far behind to me. Who, Allison? Yes. Yeah, she well, you know, her father she, like she had some hesitation, but she seemed she like she with, it. she with it. Yeah, yeah but she already once you know when she showed me she was with it, when after they did the whole thing with the naming thing and, and Renee was outside and he was singing that song. Oh yeah, oh, right. she was too. yeah, yeah. She power right there. Well, you stop singing, I want you to stop. Yeah, yeah. she was right. like your queen said, like it was a power struggle. She was like, Your princess said, and then she Overruled and was like, No, your queen said, I'm like, Oh, and you're dismissed. Okay, you tripping. I said, Yeah, oh. so once I seen that, I said, These two gonna, gonna butt heads. Are we gonna see a cat fight? You know, this is my favorite thing, y'all. I have to say, Are we gonna see? <laughs> no, I don't think so. 
Uh, I, I, I saw a preview in the season. I saw a preview in the season. She was trying I to swim with the dagger. So, okay, so look, y'all, we might see a cat fight. You know this is mm-hmm. wrong. We might, see we, might, we might see it. <laughs> yeah, because she now she fighting because she think her her son should be on the Iron Throne. But the thing is, wow. the, the king oh, already the king already named Rhaenyra as his successor. Okay, my thing is this: I'm, if if okay, if he dies like how we're saying he is before that kid turns fourteen, they can't put no baby in charge. So right. that, it's somebody else, a man behind him that's actually going to be designating everything. Right, but you remember what Cersei did. She became queen regent until, I guess, Joffrey came of age. And you remember, like, he thinks that, okay, I did this ceremony. I I did made her heir. Baby, do you remember what they did to Robert's uh, letter of how he wanted the kingdom to be ran after he died? Yeah, Cersei she ripped it up. It up. She tore it up, and she was just mm-hmm. like... And so- think about the queen who never was. <laughs> Exactly. They did her. So, you know, it's not yeah. likely that they would want her, um, you know, that she'll get to be queen. Right. You know, they're right. not going to honor his wishes. No, they're not. And to me, that's why I think her and Damon is going to get married. They are eventually. They are, yeah. Eventually. He's going to be um, a second husband, I believe. I, I think so. I think right husband. now they're pushing her towards uh, the other, the guy, uh, was Corliss's son. Well, she already like him, right? Isn't that the, the one she went? No, not the one she went. No, to. Sir Christian. Yeah, yeah, is the one that's been protecting her and stuff, and and they seem like they have a bond. They I do. think so. I think they right. gonna get it in. Right, right. I, I I think she finds him attractive. She found him attractive from the day that she saw him defeat her her uncle, mm-hmm. um, and she was turned on by that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> he's cute. Yeah, he look. Is, girl. to me he remind me of Jon Snow when he took that helmet off. <laughs> okay so y'all we see an urgent message from this from the stepstones they um so let me see Corlys brother has written him a note and he mm-hmm. wants them to intervene Otto mm-hmm. is telling him he can't intervene now they've been at it for three years if you intervene if the crown intervenes we will appear weak um so the king is is not concerned he's looking for rainier he's like rainier rainier where's rainier i was like he is ignoring like the thing about viserys viserys thinks that if he ignores a problem it will go away and that's mm-hmm. just not how that what i say about the fingers and mm-hmm. i felt like you know the 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 soul was on the cut was on this one but i feel like the way he p- procrastinates and the way he tries to dismiss things i felt like that's why the second to this one Yes, mm-hmm. I think that's like one of his, um, you know, this character flaws is the procrastination, mm-hmm. the indecisiveness, the you know, mm-hmm. all of those things. Mm-hmm. So maybe, 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 maybe his argument is that you're gonna be fighting your brother's battles or or whatever, and you're dragging the um, but he did send help at eventually, yeah, he did, he, he did. I think he did that, he yeah, did. yeah, I think, yeah, I think I he did it on his own. It was gully, but I'm just saying, look at what he did. <laughs> But the way Damon's response was interesting, though, when he got word of the, uh, it, it was like he almost like he rejected it. Yeah, yes. he killed the guys. That came. Yeah, it was just like yeah. it was. It was gully. I thought you know what you mentioned it a couple minutes ago about how um Cersei ripped up the letter. I thought he was gonna do that, mm-hmm. and then uh, mm-hmm. and, but then when he just read it and then just oh. You, and you, might, like, well, you might as well ripped it up because that's what he that's what his action said to me. Exactly. Yeah, I think he did that too because he didn't want to appear weak. Because he there didn't was, want to appear weak. Yeah, and he because to, he didn't want to throw him back in his face. Yes, and right. he didn't want to appear weak because there was already dissension around the, among the third soldiers. Because Corliss's brother was like, "Listen, why why should we listen to Damon if they not even if King's Landing is not even behind him?" Right. So, so the soldiers were already murmuring. Exactly. So, so I think he had to know, shut it down. He had to shut it down. Yeah, he had to shut it down, and I think that's why he took the stance that he did. And you know, it was just like he had to shut it down. He didn't want. I felt like if he would have took his brother's help, they would have threw it back in his face. Yes, they would. They were like, you can't fight because he came to save you. Right. Right. Exactly. 
So um, every time they was talking, every time the king was saying, "Where's Rainier? Where's Rainier? Rainier is." where her and Allison usually be under the God's wood. And uh, they usually be there and she's just there alone because she is kind of over it. She's over this whole thing. She knows her father once wanted a, a, a boy so bad and they're doing all this stuff and like everybody's celebrating him. And I think she feels some jealousy there. I think there's some, uh, some harboring and some resentment. There is like all of those feelings. So she just didn't want to be around. So she was over and he wanted her to come and be all together. And this is where we talked about Allison pulling rank because um, the guy was singing and she said, did I tell you to stop singing? And so she started singing again. She was like this, uh-uh. So she was pulling rank. So I was like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now that's a lot. So I was surprised that she did that. But um, yeah, we see she got it in her. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anything, anything about that? She kind of pissed me off when she pulled rank off. Yeah, it was just like you know. I dare you. <laughs> that in the carriage ride. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When they was telling her she got to get married, the beginning of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She she um, I feel like now her father done put the battery in her back, so now it's like she's doing her own thing now. Yeah, she is. Yeah, and I think she probably took offense because you know when she came out there, she was like. You know, your father, she was coming out there on his behalf. Your father wants you to join. And she was like, you know, <laughs> Renee was dismissive. Like, right. yeah, so I think, right. So I think uh, Allison, too, like she was trying to have the king's back. But also, that's her son. So she was probably like, oh, okay, chick. I'm going to pull a ring. I'm going to make yeah. you do this. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. So she reluctantly and sarcastically gets up. She says, is this the order of the king? And she was like, yeah, pretty much. And then she said, but it needn't be like, it was like she was getting ready to start pleading to her. Like we are, our relationship don't have to be like this. So, mm -hmm. but you know, Rainier, she's just, you know, mm -hmm. she's very stubborn. Yep. <laughs> she is very like, you know, headstrong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it just is what it is. You remember I asked the question. I don't know if I asked it on the live show. I was saying who was going to be the 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 volatile one who was going to really have the the I think it's her it's Rainier because she definitely doesn't want anything to do with Allison or her father like mm -hmm. that so I feel like they're trying to reach out to her they're trying to make things okay with her and she's just like eh, talk to is it okay she or he the father set everything in motion once he went behind the back once mm -hmm. they the night that her mother died and he sent his daughter in there that set everything off yeah right. yeah right. and pretty much what young girl doesn't want to be queen right right so it's like, and here's the thing we saw last episode that Renier she was on board with him remarrying and she came around to the idea she but she didn't get this until she found out it was actually her best friend. Yeah. That's when she was like, oh, okay. And, and she, she had, thought it was going to be the little girl. Because remember, she saw... She did, she did think it was going to be... It was the little girl, and she didn't see her as a threat. Mm -mm, right. I don't think. Because it was going to be some time before she could actually have a baby. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So if something happened between that time, she would have been in charge. But not but not her friend. <laughs> That's, she, she wasn't like, okay, this is my best friend that you're actually going to... Right. Be. Right. And... She bearing um, an heir and all of that. Yeah, she wasn't cool with that. <laughs> she was done after that. And, you know, and from what he said, this, this entire three years, she's been kind of um, distant from yeah. both of them. Yeah. yeah. I, I think she feels some sort of betrayal with her friend. Her friend and her father. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because the first thing you want to say is how long has this been going on? Right, like anybody, I think would feel like okay, yeah, yeah like what you doing this friend and your and was around. That's the first. Yeah. Look, I'm you thinking like a, a a person, you know, with anybody who lost their mother. Like mm -hmm. how long? Like this happened too fast. How long you been doing this? Right. The fact that, and here's the thing: she knows her uh, her father always wanted a son, so much so that it killed her mom, <laughs> it killed her mother and yeah. the brother. You know, and so. She hasn't really gotten over that. And right. so the icing on the cake is now you take my best friend as your as your wife. And mm -hmm. then now 
she has she finally gives you a son and then that son could possibly replace me as the heir right. Right. it's a lot it's a lot to chew on yeah and i actually was glad that Viserys later on in the episode he kind of admitted that the obsession with trying to have a son yeah. killed yeah. his wife he killed his wife and, um, <laughs> and and the thing was is that he kind of like i'm glad he admitted to it i just hate when people be in denial about things like right or don't right. want to take accountability or something like that like that is one of those like those pet peeves with me so i think that you know him taking accountability and realizing and he was saying that he wanted to right the wrong and that's why he put rainier on as the heir because he wanted to right that wrong for killing her mom and you know having this obsession to keep on trying to have babies when clearly something is the 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 god something is telling you don't have a baby like these tragedies keep happening over and over and over again but he like he said he was just obsessed with it so um yeah so when they arrive to the hunt everybody gets out of the carriage except for rainier they had this little conversation that i didn't really want to talk too much about but he said that you know it's time for her to marry and have some grand sires and all this other stuff so um she was just like I mean, she just kind of brushed it off. She was like, nobody's here for me. And I mean, it's just one of those things. You know how um, how you have like siblings and one of them feel like they're not seen? Because mm -hmm. the, the, it's usually the middle child, right? Mm -hmm. the, the youngest child is getting spoiled. The oldest child kind of had, had their parents for like a certain amount of time just to themselves. And they have a different type of bond as well. But that mm -hmm. middle one seems to be like I'm not seen or something like that. And that's what it feels like she has this kind of, you know, and I guess that's what her be, being a woman, being a female, being a woman. And it feels like women in that age, they weren't seen. They weren't, you know, respected. They weren't seen. They they, they killed this woman. They didn't even get her consent to do the C-section, even though mm -hmm. her life was in jeopardy either way. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear. But mm -hmm. She didn't even know what the hell was going on. She right. didn't have a say. And, you know, I, the, mm. the way they snatched her, her legs down like that? Yes. Oh. It was like almost like they were putting her in the stocks, right? Like, what was going Like, when she was like, what's going on? Like, exactly. Right. And then they made the choice to, to save the baby and not her. Like, you know, like you said, there was no, she was not given an option. Right. <laughs> she wasn't. And everything, right. I mean, and it was, it was like, you know, she's gonna lose a lot of blood. And the choice is, do you want to save her or save the baby? No, the the choice was, do you want to lose them both or oh, save them both? Yeah. Right. So they said it was. Mm -hmm. They didn't have yeah. enough poppy. But yeah. the thing was this, though. Once again, you know, like our time now, it was the man making a decision over this woman's body. Exactly. Mm -hmm exactly and I, I i think that's probably why he can't really get over the grief the way he really wants to mm -hmm. because that's why i was saying he was trying to right the wrongs and you know because that was horrible like just a horrible. man trying to live with that like that and, and plus you know and then that's why renera is is still angry with him as well yeah you I know because she's still grieving her mother yeah they were, they were talking about yeah. They were talking about Damon, and, and they said, Let, "Let's ask the Princess Rainier. You know, what does she think about what's happening?" And then Allison was there. Allison mm -hmm. actually took up for her. She did. He, she, he took. She took she up did. for her. And she mm -hmm. actually told her that um Damon made his choices, and that is the reason why Rainier is going to sit on the throne. Why she is the heir because he he wasn't fit. She was suitable. She was suitable for the uh, position rather than that. He wasn't suitable before he did the whole thing with the egg. The whole thing with the egg sealed the deal to me. Right. right. He took that egg and, and, and he was going to put a whore in charge. Well, he, was, he wasn't he was suitable. He was banished in episode one. You know, when he when he, so he he said he said he when he day. said for the day. Yeah, that Viserys pretty much banished him then. Yeah. I told I told you that that whole Air Force day that thing I said that was treasonous, disrespectful. I was just like, oh no, that just was not a good look. Mm -mm. So they basically were saying that Damon has made a mess of this war, and now the king has to send his fleets out there to um, clear out the triarchy for good. And she was like, but why? The crown isn't at war. And then she was like, oh yes, the crown is at war because of Damon and the sea snake. 
so like i said i like that allison kind of you know took up for her but i think that's like a too little too late or whatever i don't you know whatever you said too yeah, I think she because I think she still cares about her. So I think she was trying to show trying to show love. And um, and it looked like Renera received it, too. Like she was like, yeah. she kind of nodded like, oh, I see you. Yeah. Renera handled, handled herself well, I think, too, with them gossiping women. Mm -hmm. That's the thing to be as young as she is. Right. She carries herself well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. She I felt like she held her own with the argument with her father, too. She oh, she did. She, she's my favorite. I was like, she had one moment. They was like, you know, people, other people could hear y'all. Exactly. <laughs> well, you know, them cackling hens is gonna be talking about that, right? <laughs> so, Mister Jason Lannister tries to push up on Rainier. Hmm. Um, you know, talking about Casterly Rock and has hmm. she been there? Um, he said we don't have a dragon pit, but we do have the means and the resources to build one. She said, why do you need a dragon pet? He was oh. like, no, for my queen, my lady wife. I said, oh, Rainier, she hurt. She got that. And she was like, what? I should have heard mine. And yeah. <laughs> Exit stage left. She immediately approached the king like, you out here trying to pet me out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, it was a mess. It yeah. was a mess. But for some reason, I didn't think Viserys was up to that. I think he did that on his own. And when, um, but when she went to confront him, she's he's saying that all these um, great houses are coming with marriage proposals. Yeah. Like I'm getting this. Like he you know, he's getting a lot of them. Um, yeah. I've tried to talk to you about it. You keep pushing me away, and all of this stuff. And that's when they're going back and forth. And she's holding her own. I told you I didn't want to get married. And the good, the one good thing that he said when he was talking to the other guy that gave him some good advice, he was saying I should have said. Uh, don't marry him, and then she would have did it. Because, you know, it was just like, you know, how mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. if you're yeah. trying to push them to do something, they're going to do the they're rebellious. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, it, because if he go back and say it. That part? Yeah. For the so, next person that they feel like it's a better match for, mm -hmm. as far as where they all have uh, more leverage in the Seven Kingdoms, she, she, he'll he'll do that this time because now he knows. Okay. Oh, so, right. Yes, he does know. <laughs> and he was just basically saying that she doesn't exist above her duties. You know, she has duties as well, and you mm -hmm. must marry. And this is when their their um, voices had got really really crazy loud, and it was like, hold up, you know, is everybody out here right? <laughs> well, he, he said, also, let's talk about this later. He also admitted to her that he didn't want to get married again too, but he has to follow. The, he has to follow the order around exactly. exactly and the, and the thing is is like with that line of succession like he's trying to like you know buck the system but the system still exists you know what i'm saying so um this is unprecedented that what he's doing and that's why it's not going to stick because that is not the natural order of things that's not how they run the line of succession type thing so i know for sure when he passes away, that is going to pass away with him also. And I don't, I don't know if Allison will pull rank and say that she'll be the stand-in for her son, or would they let Rainier do it? But I, I the, think father's gonna, gonna do, the father's going to push her to to, to to be in charge. Yes, like, he's been pulling all the strings with her. Yes. to begin with, I feel I like he so. is going to push her to do it, and she's not going. She doesn't want to, but right, she's going she to listen to her dad. I yeah. think so too. Yeah, because they so. actually had a conversation about that like a little bit later. Um, when he came in there, you bet the baby was giving her the blues. That baby was crying, crying, crying. And he came in there, <laughs> and he was just like, you know, putting a little bird in her ear, a little battery in her pack, talking about don't you want your son to be the king? And you know, all of this. He was like, You gonna have to you gonna have to push this because he'll never find it on his own. No, so I was like, wow. We didn't, too. we didn't even talk about that. What? She's pregnant now. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. just like, I know that's why Renee is like, you know what? Not only one, you got one on the way, too. Uh huh. Exactly. Right. And she I asked her, this is supposed to be a girl. She's pregnant with a daughter. Right. And she asked her in the, um, when they were in the carriage, she was like, should you 
really be traveling in this condition because you know it was all bumpy and stuff like right. that. Like, right. I mean, it sounded like she had a little bit of care for, her or was she uh -huh. trying to be sarcastic? But I thought it was genuine. I, yeah, I thought it was genuine too. Okay. I feel like she do care for, her, but she still feel hurt that she feels like she went behind her back to talk yeah. to her. But the, yeah. the only thing about that is that they're both children. Now, listen, I think that because I feel like Rainier is not seeing a whole big picture. Like, even though she's rebellious, um, Allison is not. And mm -hmm. she is under the same rules that you have to obey your father. You got to do, like, I feel like she has, she needs to have a little bit more empathy for her because we, we see how Viserys is trying to push her into her duties and you got to do this, you got to marry, you got to. And I feel like if you just take a moment to think about it, is she's going through the same thing you were going through. You know, maybe, you know, it turned out a little better for her than it did for you, but she's still at the mercy of the men in her life and the king. So she doesn't really. I think, and I was going to say, I think, you know, she's like Arya and Allison is like Sansa. And, mm -hmm. you know, Sansa was prim and proper at first and just wanted to be a queen and stuff. And so, and Renera wants to um to be on a throne too, but she's not prim and proper. She like I said, she's she's a mix between Arya and Daenerys. Right. So yeah. I think she, you know, she's not for all the rules and the um right, you know, and all of that and stuff. So yeah, and she's just not seeing the forest for the trees. And it's just, you know, but that's just how teenagers are. You know, I have to keep on reiterating that to myself with my son and to be a little bit more patient and you know, just think about yourself when you were that age and stuff like that. So, so <laughs> when Rainier blew him off, he ends up going over to um King Viserys saying he would like to marry her. And then um he said if we could offer the Targaryens fam the Targaryen family anything, it would be strength. He was like, Do you think we're looking for strength? Right. Saying, that was that's why I said, see, the rumblings is already out there that they think they some punks. I wouldn't they, say gay, it's just him and the way he runs the realm. Right. Mm -hmm. they he's right. Weak. right. They think he's weak. Yeah. And then he was like, um, he said, well, if someone to, were to offer you more dragons, would you take them? And then he was like, well, do you have more dragons to offer me? I was like, touche. But I mean, I feel like he was saying something without saying something. And I feel like there was some, it was some under, underlying, y'all break that down for me because he was just saying, um, you know, he, he implied that she lost her seat. The, you know, the succession. Yep. Because, yep. because, yes. And so, um, He's thinking that every everybody in the realm is just thinking that now that you have your firstborn son, that he is going to be the heir, just automatic off of GP or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he was like, he was like, are there talks of a rebellion? And he was like, no, 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 no. We just assume, we just assume. See, when things, when that murmuring starts to happen and stuff like that, he almost lost it. He was like, rebellion. I was like, anybody say no rebellion. <laughs> But mm -hmm. that's what I say. I felt like he was saying something, but I just couldn't really get. I have to watch it one more time because I feel like he was saying something without saying something. But if y'all got it, let when me. You know. say he. You're talking about Viserys. Oh, you feel like talking about Jason. Yeah. I, listen, I think it was plain. <laughs> I was gonna ask you. Do you think it's a foreshadowing moment? It look. It could be because yeah. um, I, I think it, he was making it plain that listen, listen, the room is talk, talking. <laughs> the yeah. room is talking. They don't really think that you're a strong um, kingdom and stuff, and they probably he's probably saying you're probably going to be forced, regardless of what you said. Mm -hmm. And you name him Renera, you're probably going to be forced to make Aegon the king. And I think I think a lot of people are aware that Otto is is like the puppet master too. I think people are on to him as well. I hope so because he's getting on my nerves. He on my nerves too. <laughs> he on my nerves too. <laughs> and I, I was okay with Allison in the beginning. Now I'm not not feeling Allison right now. Ooh, she done her, her father now two years. Her father been coaching her what to say to the king, what to mm -hmm. what to, how to react to the king, what to do to the king. Mm -hmm. She's already in line now. Now that she's actually queen, mm -hmm. and she got a, she bore a son. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. That's, that's it. the deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another thing, why I don't think Rhaenyra is going to get on the throne during the interim time because it's hard to take power back from somebody that you give it to. You give them right. power. They don't want to relinquish that power and stuff right. like that. So 
when when the time comes, who says Renee are going to be like, okay, well he can have it now. I don't right. think that's how. <laughs> I don't think that that's how that's going to work. At 13, too? And she's going to be like, she'll be at 14, 13, 14, she'll be like a, a young lady, like in her 20s almost. Yeah. Yeah, so we're about to get to this awkward conversation with Otto and Viserys. So he tells, you know, tells, goes to um, Viserys and says that you're not only Rhaenyra's father, you are the king. And she will do as you command. And he was like, I don't really want to command her. Right. Um, happy you know what i'm saying and then he was like well there's another suitor and then he was like a little closer to home oh my and goodness he was posturing to his grandson he was like he only two years old you know ridiculous I, it was like you want her to marry a two-year-old that's what he was saying he, he said look closer to home he pointed to the baby i was like now come on betroth them like um say that you know arrange the marriage when he come of age then but i mean who wants she's gonna be too old by then how's she gonna bear children well she probably gets to bear no, be like if he if she's well she's like okay what? She's, 17, she's 17 in this episode oh yeah she is gonna be too old she is gonna Listen, be in her 30s. I, I think he said that because he knew it was ridiculous and he knew <laughs> the king would reject it you know how some people yeah, they yeah. just they put stuff out there knowing they know the other person isn't going to agree to it Right. Well, he was just trying to agree to marrying um the little girl. Yeah. Once he felt like you know this is like mm, this is yeah because she was twelve and she was talking about but mom said I don't I won't have to take you into my bed until I'm fourteen. I'm like oh my gosh that was a cringeworthy conversation too. Yeah, I was cringing. I was he like, like he was cringing about mm-hmm. it too. Like he was he was. was. You, you, he was like she's a child. Exactly. I want to see how she looked now. If since they aged her up, so she should be about fifteen. Yeah, three years. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you saw the the um the her mm-hmm. twin because he was fighting. That's the one that was a dragon rider. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, L- Lainor. So we saw the boy. So they did age up. So mm-hmm. yeah. So well, yeah, you know what? Her. That's who you know. I've been reading, and some of the things that I've read. They were saying that that's who they're trying to marry um, Rhaenyra to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And they're saying oh, that he's, he's, like, like, he's like, you know. He yes. As I say, he, he has a secret. He He's going to be like the Lars of the like Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's what we're about to get to there. That segues us to Lionel Strong coming to give, you know, telling them the hunt is on the way and all this other stuff. Then he, you know, Viserys, he starts to get all down on himself and saying that he can't control his own children. She's a contrarian. She's rebellious. And he, you know, goes down and tells him that Jaharis had the same problem. And he had a lot more children than what you have. You got one. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Jaharis had nine. He had nine kids. And he was saying, especially those girls, those girls drove him to the point of insanity. <laughs> so he said it's like a rite of passage. So you know, you know, calm down. It's all right. Just, you know, pack your patience. That's just these teenage girls and how they act or whatever. So he he smiled a bit and um, he was like, so do you want my advice? And he's like, it's pretty much the same thing that I told you, my advice to you when I told you to marry um, Valer- um, Corliss' daughter. Now I'm telling you that Rainier should marry Corliss' son. And he said, pretty much for the same reasons, pretty much for um, everything is the Valerian bloodline. Um, also, too, th- there's a fracture between the sea snake, Corliss, and the crown. You know, when they kind of broke apart because of this whole thing that happened. He said mm-hmm. all of these things, um, he said they're the wealthiest house in the realm. And, all you know, all these things politically lines up correctly. And so, mm-hmm. so I mean... He he said that um, if you do this, um, Corliss will be in a better place with you, you know, and probably overlook any slights that happen between you guys. So then he was like, but we must pray that Lenor um, survives the, the war at the Stepstones. I said, oh, she, she got all about that. And then we know that he's a dragon rider, too. So we, we get into that a little bit. But um, anything about that? Do you I think, think we're going to see a, a nice courtship with dragons and everything? That's my <laughs> prediction. I, I I could see that going on because that's how, um, you know, that's what brought 
Jon Snow and Daenerys closer oh, with the yeah. whole dragon riding thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, see, I that's where we, we should have known that John was a Targaryen then, because they say that you know only Targaryens could ride the dragon. So right. that you know, when I went back in retrospect, when I saw John so and how the dragon, Valerians too, with with yeah. full blooded, you could ride him too. Right. That's why he. That's why he was so good on it. Yeah, and then he's mixed with Targaryen because Rhaenys is a Targaryen. Yeah. So mm -hmm. pure blood line there. So, so he does have Targaryen blood. So that's why he's able to ride too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did it with style too. I like the way he did that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so I think we missed this, but you know, uh, there was this argument. Of course, Rainier rides off, and she's upset. Christian. You know, he's he saw her leave, her, so her he, was able, yeah, he was able to um catch her, and mm -hmm. he's like, "What is going on here?" And um, she was just talking to him, and she was just you know basically just kind of pouring out her heart, talking about, "Do you think the realm will ever accept me as queen?" And he was like, "They have to. They don't have no choice. They have to." Well, she yeah, ran they, away because she, because they were trying to force her to marry somebody she didn't want to marry. Right. And That's so right. that that was like, I'm getting out of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um yeah, so then I mean she started there and then she just went on into the um the whole thing like cuz that's what's troubling her cuz she, she feels out of place now. Like it feels like, you know, it just hasn't happened yet, but it's on the horizon. So mm -hmm. Then Christian and 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 Rainier hear something in the woods, baby. When I tell you, I was some kind of scared looking into the dark woods and hearing a little crackling and crackling. I said, "Oh my god!" And then they did it for so long. You know how they just held the shot, and you was like, "Is this damn thing gonna come out or what?" Right. I was wondering what it was. I was like, I was like, yeah. I actually thought it was gonna be that bull. I thought it. I'm not bull. The deer stag. Oh yeah. I didn't know what it was going to be. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. Right. And it came and it knocked Christian Cole. Like, he did a backflip and fell. So I think he was out, you know, just by that. And then the damn thing came and started attacking Rainier. She ended up stabbing it in the damn neck. That motherfucker came back to life. <laughs> she was like, I mean, full on carry. <laughs> Yeah, she yeah, she unleashed all her frustration on that boy. Yes. <laughs> he, he got it. He got it for Allison, the series, the, the entire realm. Right. He took right. one for the team. And you know what they say about an animal when you hunting it? Like their strongest fight is when they fight and just live. Right. Ooh. So that last bit of thing, she was like. <laughs> And she was bathed in the blood. I was like, "Woo!" She let it unleash, and that's when I said, "You know, you could tell that she and Daenerys came from the same same bloodline." Because I mean, I was just like, "Right." You remind me of about when she ate that heart. I ate the heart. I was just about uh, to say, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I couldn't believe it. That was that was just a, a crazy thing. And you remember we were going over the trailer with Lamont uh, Mucci, and he was talking about what is attacking her and i don't I, I can't remember what i said but somebody i think he said it was a bear or something <laughs> but yeah i i had no idea i was like i wouldn't why is she in the woods like i was just trying to think but i ain't i ain't know where this was going so yeah it was a boy that attacked her yeah mm -hmm. and I, like i said i think this was like a direct contrast to um viserys and how he how he did with the animal and how she did with the animal you know they giving it to him all nice and easy and all you gift got wrap. To do. right gift wrap Everybody, like, he was struggling <laughs> that's he was why struggling. he was still struggling because it was gift wrap tied exactly. from each end and all he had, and, and they told him exactly what it with like here's the right thing. that's why I said I don't think I, I think he was struggling because he was physically ailing and number two I, I think he really wanted to do it I because I think he is a humane man I, I think he saw how that that um stag was bound and how it was like squealing and everything like that and stuff because at one point he he looked away and so i was just like he not really built do you have really built for that do you think he could have had some kind of flashbacks to when they were holding his wife down to do that c section oh, that's a good point yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good point yeah because like he did hold holding it it probably was just like that just like it probably was triggering for him 
It yeah. was triggering. Yep. yep. I think that's a good point. Yeah. So, yeah, and I was just like, and Rainier, a woman, got to get it out the mud. Like, she, she's fighting for survival. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're doing this for sport, and he still can't do it. But right. <laughs> <laughs> she's sitting up here trying to survive. I was like, yeah. When she took off on that horse. The way she was riding that horse. Yes. Right. I was like, you know what? She gonna, I know she mad, but she ready to hurt somebody. Right. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. The, the boar got all of that. Yeah, you are right. He, she took out all her frustration on that boar. Mm-hmm. I wonder. And, and the way she looked when she returned. Like, the way she was covered. Like, she looked like a soldier, too. I mean, like, she, the she look looked like. Got, she got a lot of looks of admirations from them. She folks. did. She, she earned their respect. She walked they in was like. like you know, having a little drinks or whatever, looking like oh yeah, because they used to oh, basically. And they saw how big it was. Yeah, and they know she killed it because she had the blood. All she still had the blood. blood. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And they used to them being prim and proper, and she came in there like a G. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I'm saying. Allison don't want no smoke. She, she can try to stab her if she oh, wants. So to it at night. I would put my money. How it goes down. Now y'all gonna want me. Now I'm gonna go look at the um trailer again. Look at the trailer. trailer look at the trailer because she basically she pulling that knife, but she not. She, she not and, and, and Renera caught the knife. In in the trailer, she's trying to stab Renera, and Renera caught caught it. Mm. It was like it's a struggle, and that's why I'm like, I hope Renera whoop her butt. She is going to do it. I don't she whoop her butt. Get those hands? Yeah, she's going to get them hands, y'all. We need to get the hands. Need to get the hands. Well, she don't get them hands. I want to be rolling around on the ground and fighting with the people that wrote that. Story. Look, <laughs> I heard that. Very true. Um, I wanted to also say that I think we talked about it that she actually, when she was um, standing out looking, she saw the white stag. And I think the, the, the white stag to me, Symbolized that she is supposed to be the person on the throne since yep. she saw it. I agree. Did y'all I, agree. That yeah, I think so because they said I, it was I, kind of divine, some some sign, some divine sign or whatever. I felt like she could have killed it, but I think she, I think she didn't want to show her father up because mm. that was that's actually supposed to be his kill. It was supposed to be his kill, but I also, yeah, um, it that's looked the looks, looks, looks the looks that were exchanged between the white stack and her too. It looked like it, there was an understanding. <laughs> it did like there was an understanding. Right. Yeah, she told him not to hurt him or whatever, but mm-hmm. you know, for, for some reason, because you remember Otto was saying that, you know, it's on his name day, so if we get the way, it's a divine sign. Yes. Because, listen, yeah. that white one didn't show up for... It did not. For the king. Showed up for princess, so yes. Yeah. Could you imagine if she bled it back? That's what I'm saying. Could you imagine if she actually? Would yeah, have- that would have really made him look crazy. <laughs> Real crazy. It made him look crazy. Yeah. I, I think. It, I think the boy was enough. I feel like the boy made him look crazy already, because she did it on her own. Exactly. I'll give you five too, boo. Because <laughs> look, I'm. T- yeah. I, I feel like that made her. That made when she the way she came back with with. She came back looking like a warrior. Listen, the, the last episode when she went and retrieved the egg. Oh, right there. <laughs> she showed him up then too. Yes. Yeah. Because she threatened. She was like, look, you're going to either kill me and take this egg or I'm taking it back. That's what I'm saying. She's a G. Egg. She's a G. That's why I was right. just like, I'm team Renera over here. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> me too. I'm with her too. Yeah. yeah. And don't get me wrong. I like Damon Style. Man, oh, I like the I like the like style. Style. I, listen, I like style too. I mean, I'm over to get to that moment. I mean, over I'm Allison. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at Allison. <laughs> so right. I'm rocking with uh, Renera. Yeah, I agree. Um, right. There was this um one scene that I just wanted to um bring up where Allison and the King talk, and they're talking about Jason Lannister and all this other stuff. And Allison said she believes that Rainier will marry, but it just has to feel like it's her choice to do so. So that was a very good gem because, like you said, like like we say with teenagers, it's like just the opposite. So mm-hmm. just kind of let her, you know, just do what she want to do because she did pull his card. She said if if you were doing what was right for the realm, you would have married the daughter of Corliss. Exactly. 
She right. pulled right. a better right. bloodline. Yes. Right. She pulled his card. He was like, true. He was like, you right. Mm -hmm. You right. And then he right. tried to tell her she needed to do what's right for the room. She's like, sit down, man. Sit down. <laughs> okay, so y'all, we about to get to the good part, y'all. This whole thing, <clears throat> how the sea, the sea Snake's brother wrote this thing, said he was fighting in the war, they're losing badly, um, and it's, it's just not looking good. So we get there, and um, Allison is like, this letter is asking for aid is asking for help and he said what how does it how does it look for me to help him after three years or something and he said it, it makes you look like a good man that loves your brother and so you know <laughs> she, then she posed the question is it better for the crab feeder to thrive or be vanquished so just kind of put it in perspective like you know it, it takes sometimes it takes a woman Oh yeah, put the right bug in. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I'm, I'm glad she talked to him about it, and he ended up sending aid. But that aid kind of backfired. But they couldn't get there that fast because I think it's some time to travel there. So he just sent a message mm -hmm. that he was, that going, it was kind of going to help. And mm -hmm. girl, when I tell you, Damon, he had no words, not one word, and he <laughs> stole the whole episode what he ended up doing at the end of this he read oh, that letter he read that letter and he was like uh-uh that lit some kind of fire under his ass he's like i'm gonna get this or i'm gonna die trying you're not gonna come exactly and kill my glory right 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 i was just like oh my god he just was kind of reading it he was like i was like this is just gonna be so epic and he went in there just like off of the battle of the bastards like john was against all of those um people on horses and he just pulled out that sword and he was just like look if i die i die but right he came like he, remember, he had the white flag he put his his uh sword up he looked like he was surrendering and he did yeah, and so as soon as they pulled up on him, it was on. It was good. It was so that, good. That scene was good. Yeah, yeah well, even even the person narrating, he was like, "Who's going to um bait them out? We got to bait them out so we can surround them and so we can get them because they keep on retreating." So of course we were saying Damon because as soon as he said who and everybody was like Damon, and then next thing you know we cut to him and he doing his thing trying to surrender, but no, not really. He goes and he just starts the wreck shop in there, pulling everybody out. The only thing that uh, messed up with him is that they still had those archers. They still had those mm -hmm. people in place. Right. Like all the other people that was like down on the ground, they came, but mm -hmm. those archers were still in place. But you know what? That's not that's not too bad anyway because I mean it was bad for Damon. Now yeah, he got shot like three times now. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, it was bad for Damon, but it wasn't bad for the, the the people that he was with because they had dragons that could come and get right. them. Yeah, them dragons. Right. He, he kind of drew them in. Yeah. Like he, um, while they were shooting and stuff, he kind of yeah, drew he, them in and stuff and, and, and lured them so that the team could come follow right. up. Right. He drew them in so they could appear to shoot yeah. him so the dragon yeah, could, yeah. So the dragon could uh, love it. Unleash Dracatus. <laughs> And Moochie said she liked the way he was riding that dragon. Yes. <laughs> like, who on the dragon now? He was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Moochie, I have to ask you this because this um this actually puts a nail in your theory about the crab feeder being something else. And I thought he was one and done. But you was given a theory that we were going to, he was going to get healed from grayscale. They was yeah, I'm so mad. You had yeah, all I think he was going to do more of him. They killed him more pretty quick. They did. Mm -hmm. And I thought we was going to see that that whole original thing play out again. So they know that this is where the original healing, the original, um, I guess you could say, cure came from that. Right. I right. thought we should see that. So yeah, just basically shot that theory down. <laughs> Dead in the water. Did you think that um Tiffany that the crab feeder was gonna get more of a storyline? We were gonna find out he was some lost Targaryen or some um uh great leader that kind of like went left or something like that. Or 
Do we don't I, I, I thought he was, I thought he was gonna be more prominent. I don't know if I thought he was a Targaryen or anything. I just thought he was gonna have more of a prominent role, but who knows? I mean, yeah, I didn't think he was a toy crab feeder. I thought he came from something though, from, from yeah, some from, kind of uh, royal, royal, royal blood or some kind of um, you know, high high blood or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he came out of the cave with half of his body. So, yeah, in there. yeah, yeah. That was that was gangster. It was gangster, and it, it set the tone for all that murmuring they were doing about Damon and stuff. Mm -hmm. He yeah. came out looking like a G too. Yeah, now, but it, now it even makes his brother look more weak. Yeah. Because yeah, That's he true. killed somebody that was killing people by the dozen with them crabs and stuff. Right, mm -hmm. right. And now, it, and he went in there solo. Well, that's right. what he wanted. He he was in it for glory he anyway. For himself. Glory for yeah, himself. Yeah, he was in it anyway. So he came out getting the glory that he was seeking. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So y'all, are we in agreement? Who's the MVP? I'd like to know. Oh, Goodness. Um, ooh. Eesh. For this ooh. episode? For this episode? Like, I'm torn between Renara and Damon. You. Me too. Right. All right. Right. Because Damon, Damon ended strong. <laughs> and I, I was but I was happy the way Renara showed up too with the boar. Me too. So I'm like, sheesh. Can, we, can they both get it? <laughs> yeah, right. I was just going to ask that. I was going to ask that. Because they deserve yeah. it both in their own right. So yeah. definitely, definitely. And um, just because we, you know, because they keep doing these time jumps, like the crab feeder, he pretty much did have a story. He they've been fighting with him for three years. So yeah, you know, just because we didn't see it, uh, maybe that's why we kind of feel a little slighted about that. Mm -hmm. Who are we gonna give the golden douche award to? Mm. We both said at the same time. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's between Otto and Otto. Otto. It's Otto. Yeah, it was Buttheads this episode. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's Otto for me. Yeah, it's Otto for me, too. Well, I said who I thought first, but, you know, the other yeah, guy. Otto. He, he's an honorable mention. His brother's an honorable mention to me. He's definitely a douche for, he's definitely a douche for recommending Renera marry a two-year-old. Mm-hmm. I'm best. So, y'all, let's get to the last part. We're going to do some predictions and some theories. Um, the only thing about this is that because they're kind of making it hard for us to kind of theorize because of all these jumps each episode. Like, um, that's where I, I'm having a problem with trying to, you know, figure out where we're going with this. But um, to me, I feel like the king is dying. Do we all think the king is dying? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. We said yeah. that to be, we said that between last the the last um chat. Right. Mm -hmm. And now this one. Any yeah. anyone else? Anyone else on the death prediction list? Oh, um. Mm. Mm. Right now, we know the king. Uh I don't I don't know about anybody. Know about yeah. 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 Definitely him, though. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, I, I think I saw from this cast yet. When I saw a trailer, I think I saw Allison with like three kids. So, um, I may be mistaken. So I was like, I think we got after this one one more baby to come before he passes. Okay. okay. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. It may just be two kids, but I think it's three because I think it. I think I saw. You know, Aegon, uh, daughter, and I think it's another boy. Y'all think it's going to be another time jump uh, yeah. in the next episode, too? Um, I don't know about the next episode. I don't know about the next episode, but um, soon. Okay. I think so, uh, especially if you say you see three kids. So Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I saw that in a trailer uh, or something. I thought I saw a third kid. I may be mistaken. It may just be two, but I think I think there is a third kid. Okay. So I think he definitely gonna check out after that. Wow. He's already on his way out. Yeah, he right. is. He's struggling. He's struggling. That's what I said. I was like, I don't even see him, um, his demise coming from anybody. I just feel like he's just gonna naturally go. Like, yeah, because he's yeah, whatever ailment he's suffering from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even though I feel like 
I, I got I got the maesters. I got my eye, my good eye. Oh, yeah. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I still feel like he's being poisoned. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I, I I won't say he's being poor. Yeah, with the blades. I think they're doing something with those blades. Yeah. Yeah. And even they're like, where is the malpractice suit? Who in the hell going to tell somebody to put some damn hands in some maggots? And then you right. involve two of your damn face. Look, that people do anything to survive. They like, look, this is causing a problem. If you get rid of these two, you still got nine more. Look, eight more. Right. <laughs> right. Look, you get rid of these two, you still got eight. <laughs> Look, I, I can't. I feel you're like right. That's not your right again, <laughs> your grace. <laughs> you know what? Like, because I heard, I heard in the lore that the Macers did not like magic. They didn't like the dragons. They didn't like all of that stuff. And then there was a secret plot against them trying to get the Targaryens off the throne because of this mm. whole dragons and stuff like that and i mean i could see it i could definitely mm -hmm. see it so i mean I, that's like my theory and my prediction that the uh, maesters they're in on everything mm -hmm. i agree mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's people in cahoots yeah and i are they working with damon i don't i I feel like they more so with they work with auto. Auto. So, yeah that was they gonna say auto because I was gonna say they don't trust Damon. and I feel like Damon already knows what's going yeah, on. Yeah, he said it. He, he said he, it. He's gonna, let, he gonna let them rock out now because he's already been banished. So he right. likes his he likes he already got the army. When he's ready to take it, he's gonna take it, I think. Probably after his uh his brother dies. Because I don't think it's, it, even though he's banished, I don't think he wants wanted to hurt his brother for real though i agree right right i definitely see some genuine love there between them you know sometimes yeah. brothers be at odds yeah but I feel like they really do care about each other they i think so too your way of showing it or something like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah so my guy damon like he i mean i know he's a flawed character but he is just like one of my favorites underneath. yeah flawed characters make interesting characters yes i love it i love it so that's why i, I tend not to shy away from you know people who are good that cause the conflict and, and you know i'm like okay I, I like what you're doing here so yeah but yeah i think they were trying to make him out to be this villain but he has so many different layers it makes him a little bit more appealing to me like you can mm -hmm. see like all mm -hmm. different sides and all different facets of him yes he mm -hmm. is a psychopath yes he is all of these things but he, 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 he got a narcissistic yeah <laughs> right mm -hmm. but yeah I, I definitely admire his strength um mm -hmm. yeah so I, I like him that's my second favorite character yeah and i think he genuinely cares for renera too that too oh yeah i that saw too. that the first episode yeah the first episode yeah they have an excellent bond. Like the fact that they always speak in Valyrian, high Valyrian, that's bond number one. That's how you can tell that they're really in tune with each other, the way they even just communicate with each other. So it's like, it's just their thing, you know? So, and so. the fact that she was able to, to talk him down to get the, the egg back. The egg back. Like she was the only one that he that he actually listened to. Like he was getting ready to drag him, was getting ready to turn up. <laughs> he yeah. was going to turn up on Otto and them, you know, had she not come. Right. And to right. settle things. And everything so yeah um there's definitely a bond now, between them. now what what if what if Caraxes did turn up on auto and auto and them was all fried flame <laughs> what would the king have done y'all that was the hand of the king so that might have forced his hand because the realm would have been like this is an act of war they probably would have pressured him Ooh, to retaliate. That would have been ugly. Oh, definitely. That would have been ugly. That's why this it was good that was Huh? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It would have been ugly. That's why I think it, it was good that she was able to settle things the way she did. Absolutely. And it seemed like they still he still was mad at her. He was because she was out, she was out of order, but she did defuse the situation. So well, it was for the greater good. Exactly. Because Damon Saraxi or whatever was getting ready to turn up. <laughs> he was getting ready to cut us. <laughs> right. Did you did y'all notice that when um when Damon got hit uh, when it was nighttime he got hit by the um the flaming arch that the mm -hmm. dragon cried out like he got hit but it was yeah. Damon that really got yeah. hit. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that. I was like, "Wow. 
That well, was listen, perfect. well, think about Dragon when da- Daenerys got killed. Like when when he when she got killed, what he do? He burnt that throne to the ground. I was surprised he ain't burned Jon Snow up, but uh, exactly. But uh, he he torched that throne. He was he was pissed, and then took her body and rode off. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, they definitely seem to be loyal to their riders. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a great discussion, you guys. We all, like, me and Tiffany gave it nines. Bucci gave it an 8.5 because she know it's going to get even better. So yeah, she, I feel like it's, it's, it's going to get, uh, get greater later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not be too excited. Right. But I say 8.5 because I didn't want to give it a nine, but technically it might be a nine. But I'm going to stick with my 8.5. I'm going right. to stand too old. Sorry, that's still a good school. That's great. That's a great school. We had a great time with the episode. Don't forget to come back on Friday at 10 p.m. on my channel to do the um, the live panel. And we'll have more guests, of course. We'll have games. We'll have all these different things. It's not the recap. It's the live show. So it's going to be good, good, fun times. And I hope to see you there. I hope you enjoyed the review. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.